diamonds in our hands. We were holding our Hello, good morning viewers. Um, it's my very first video, so I hope it's alright. Uh, not, we've not really done this before. Um, but today's video is about the Vector 3 part build 3D printer from Eagle Moss. I've just built one for a very good friend of mine. Um, and it was it was really good and I've decided to get one myself. But there, there was a few issues uh, I had uh, along the journey. Um, now after it was built, I had the same problem as a lot of other viewers out there. Um, the Y-axis uh, print bed was very wobbly. So when it was doing its prints, it was jumping, it was, you know, turning. Um, and that's no good for when, when, you know, when you're trying to do especially detailed um, prints and things. Um, so I did a bit of digging into it couldn't really find any answers online so I thought hmm, I'll do a video on it um, so obviously yeah today I'm going to show you about adjusting it so it, it you know to cut all that wobble out um, it's very simple um, but I think because it's so simple perhaps some of you just overlooked it um, so yes uh, if we go back then to well, all the way back to issue two, when it first started two years ago, you'll notice that when you insert the shafts into your fixing base, one shaft fits in nicely, you've got the holes there really piloted out for you. The other side, when you come to build the other side, there's they're oval holes, so there is room for adjustment there. Um, and basically that's all you need to adjust. So if that isn't right, you'll get a wobble in the bearing. Obviously if it's too tight, you'll struggle to move the move the bearing block. So um, yeah, that, that is all, all it is. So I've already stripped my printer down. And then when I come back, I'll show you what's what. Okay, so here we are, I'm back. I've taken off the Y-axis uh, assembly. Um, you know, it's fairly straightforward. If you've built the printer, you should have a rough idea um, of what's, what's involved. It is a little bit of a pain because you've got to take all the plastic trims off, um, obviously disconnect the wiring for the motors. Uh, or motor, shall I say. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Yeah, this is where we need to be. This assembly off. I've already done this to save some time. You need to remove your your plate from the, uh, the base there. Uh, and then you need to undo the four screws, which I've already done, in each corner. So you've got one there. One there, one there, and one there. Now, as you may recall, it had this little this little um, bracket that slid in here like this. Where that comes out of, just bear in mind um, that the screw is slightly longer, obviously, for that, that corner. So, just bear that in mind. So... Once you've taken that off and removed your cover, lift it off. Now, I'd, it would be easier if you can remove these, if you wish, remove the three screws holding this, this part on, the, the base on to the, uh, the actual linear bearing. Remove the two screws from this cover as well, and then you can take all that off. And then you won't have all of this in the way. Obviously, I'm not going to adjust mine today because I've already adjusted it um, and I've got a lovely movement. Um, so I don't want to disturb that. <clears throat> so this is just to show you how to do it. So if we go back, as I say, to issue two, it says 
if you look at the, I'm oh, sorry, says, if, if you look at the images, um, you will see that obviously the two screws are oval um, for the adjustment. I'll try and show you a little close up. I'm not sure if you'll see that or not. Here. So obviously you've got the motor at the back, which is here on one. So these ones are ovaled. So if we take that into account, you got your motor there. It's this shaft here that is adjustable. So all you do on the reverse, as you build it, <coughs> you've got two screws. Just untighten them. Don't don't remove them completely. Just nip them off, and then you've got the same at the top here. Just nip them off, and then that will allow you to move that shaft left and right to get a nice snug fit on your bearing, if that makes sense. So once you've removed, uh, just slacken them off, move your bearing down to one side, just prise it out towards the outer edge, and then tighten one of the screws up. Repeat, move, the, move your bearing block to the other end, just prise it out towards the edge a little bit, tighten it up, see how the movement feels. The first time I did it, I did it a bit too tight. I was a bit heavy handed and the bearing would hardly move. So all I did was just slacken it off a bit more, repeat it, go back down, slacken it off, redo it. And then just keep doing that until you get a nice free flowing movement. Not too much, you know, I've got a little bit of resistance uh, in the bearing, but not a lot. Um, and of course it stopped the wobble completely. I mean, there's no wobble in that. It's, it's solid um, and that's all you need to do to adjust your your y-axis wobble um, I mean when I first built this obviously this was far too over and there was just loads of play there and movement uh, which is not good so yeah once you've done that tighten all your screws back up underneath pop your top cover back on and just refit all the <laughs> he says yeah, refit all your screws. Don't forget to put your bracket back. And then remember, the longer screw goes in this corner here. The other three screws in there. Refit your uh, your base. And then, uh, yeah, reassemble into your printer. Okay, so I hope that helped. Um, give you a rough idea um it certainly did for me um obviously with all these projects you're just learning on the way but yeah i just thought i'd make this because it, it didn't seem to be a lot out there uh, a definitive answer on, on fixing this um but yeah so as i said it's just such a small little thing i think it was just you know some people may have just overlooked it um because obviously when you build that back in issue two you know you've come a long way since you even built that part you know because you're concentrating on the framework and the, the electrics and so um yeah uh so yeah my name's uh Horlix. uh basically i'm going to do another video shortly so um please like subscribe if you like the video um i will be doing another video uh on on this v3 printer um it will be about the it extra fan that they've supplied uh, at the end of the issue um, I think it was around 100 or, or around there somewhere 96 I, I can't remember for sure but yeah the video will be about the uh, the extra cooling fan uh, for the nozzle tip um, the flaws with that and the way I've overcome that problem okay well thanks for watching as I say if you liked it uh, please subscribe, like, um, and share. Uh, that would be great. And um, yeah, speak to you all soon. We were one together. We 
diamonds in our hands. 